Hi, my name is Mank and welcome to the Design System course by Design Plus Code and we're going to do it in Figma. Now at Design Plus Code, we have built an entire design system so that the whole team, designers and coders, can go and use the same design language, the same components and styles so that the design itself is very consistent. Now you can see here that we have colors, typography, icons, all the way to controls such as buttons, form inputs, cards, components, and cells, and navigation components. So all of this has been created in a way that it can be shared in the team library and that anyone can just enable this and bring all of these styles and components to the design itself. So as you can see here, we have a huge design that is composed of all the elements from our design system. So like this, it's consistent. Anyone in the team can import these design components and style to new designs, new pages without having to start from scratch. You can also find these same elements in our design system page, which is a website uh, on the official site. And you can find the colors and the typography, the links, icons, and using Live Embed from Figma, this is completely connected to, um, to the actual design system. So you can see here um, the icons. If I make a change like this, you can see that it has been updated to the Live Embed, which is pretty cool. So as a result, we're creating a design system that's always up to date, that is frictionless, and that communicates to both designers and developers and product managers so that everything is in sync and anyone can just contribute to the same components and styles whether it is inside Figma or in code. So all of this can be put in the official website using code but also respecting a very consistent design language. Obviously, we're not going to create all of these components in a five hour course. But what we're going to try to do is to cover all the techniques uh, that is used to create, you know, the same colors, the same style that you can find here. We're also going to design these pages or at least some of these pages so that we have a really good understanding of how Figma works. What are the best workflows to work in a team environment and how to bring in product managers, other designers and work with us in real time. So we're going to cover a lot of things. Of course, we're going to create a design system, but also we're going to learn how to create a basic layout using really basic techniques, but also learn how to use constraints and how to create adaptive layouts, how to use styles and team library, as well as components and nesting components. We're also going to learn how to create icons from scratch using the vector network, booleans and shapes. And then we're going to learn how to prototype using interactions and how to share it with our coworkers and clients. And then we learn how to export our design into assets and then how to invite people so that they can inspect the distances and the properties, as well as the code in SVG, CSS, Swift or Android. And finally, we're going to explore some key techniques uh, using the real-time collaboration and how to use commenting so that everyone in a team is in sync. Now, let's dial back a little bit. What is Figma and why is it so important for designers to learn Figma? So first of all, uh, Figma came out a few years ago and that was like the first design tool that really utilized the power of the web. And they came up with this really cool concept of real-time collaboration. So that means that you can have multiple designers or product managers, content creators coming on the same canvas and really taking care of different parts of the layout. Now, how does it compare to Sketch? Well, first of all, you'll be happy to know that most design tools are not vastly different from each other. And the layout is very similar. You're going to find the same essential tools uh, such as component libraries and developer handoff. But at the same time, you have to think of Figma as sketch with craft, uh, with abstract, with Zeppelin, all of that embedded into a single application. And that's really, really powerful. Uh, on top of that, you can import files from sketch really easily, such as this one from Angle. You can see that it was able to import everything with 90 to 95% accuracy 
while keeping all the layers and the symbols intact. So Figma works on Windows, which means anyone from your team, including developers using Windows machines, can come and inspect the same design elements that you have, even you know contribute to the design itself. Figma also have real-time collaboration, which again is really amazing. It has version control, so you can move something and you can decide to uh, save that as a version. Um, which is really cool. Figma has very similar keyboard shortcuts as Sketch, as you can see here. And you can download the app for your Mac so that it feels very much like a native app. In fact, I would say that the actual performance far exceeds that of in Sketch, for example, when you have to deal with so many, so many artboards. As you can see here, there's virtually no lag and it's absolutely a pleasure to work with. Let's get started and let's head over to Figma.com, you know, let's create an account, of course, and let's download the Mac app so that we can have access to the local fonts on your computer, but also you're going to have a much, much better experience using the app. The first time you land on Figma, you'll probably see a screen like this, which is in recent or draft, and you'll probably have a bunch of sample files and you know, Google material design as well as personal colors. You can also get some new resources such as the iconic uh, icons that are provided for free. Um, you can also download UI kits from the internet. So let's do that. If you go to Figma resources, you'll find the files and this is where you can basically uh, click on one of these and when you do, it's gonna automatically upload and create a copy of that to your Figma account. So we can find the same icons right here and you can basically use that for free. Now one of the beautiful things about Figma is that it's actually a free app. So as long as you don't have more than three projects or two members in your team, you basically can use Figma for free forever. And that's really generous. In fact, most freelancers, most people who work you know, in a very small team or by themselves, will be able to create as many files as they want inside you know these projects you can create three projects but you can store as many files as you want and there is no limit on the file size which is really awesome now of course you can also upgrade to a pro account which has you know unlimited uh, version history for example or projects or free viewers as well as the team library but mostly about the components you can still share the styles, but you won't be able to share the components, which is fine if you're not in a big environment. And if you are in a large team, then you might as well just go with a professional account, which is quite reasonable in terms of pricing for all the things that it offers, meaning that you can save a lot of money from having to create an account for Dropbox, Abstract, Zeppelin, and so on. So back to the Figma app, we're gonna go to my design team and this is where you can decide to invite more people to your team and to create a new project as well so i can create a project design plus code 3 and here i'm going to create a new file for my first design like this and from here we can get started um, in the next section we're going to learn how to do a basic layout how to work with frames, how to use grids, as well as some of the basic tools. Everything is going to be taught step by step from scratch. This course is entirely free, which means you can share all the assets to your friends, including the videos, the text, the lessons, and the links will be freely available to everyone. And that even includes all the source files for each step of the way. Now, the only part that we offer to our pro users that are not available to everyone is simply um, the source file for the entire design system that we have built from scratch and these are not like fake source files these are real source files that we actually use for our official website and that includes all the pages that we have created so far we put thousands of hours into these pages into all of these icons into all of this source so that you can learn from it and for those who want to support us can do so by getting a pro account but otherwise you can follow every single step using all the source files for every section 
as well as the assets at start. So I'll see you in the next section.